Ora John Dramani Mahama no. E mu ba po di a kote ne pa. E ye mami Marita. Bri wo opon ya kane no. O ye abayin lo ya peni. Asem wane. O mu yye kwa otu no. O nene sen jwa fo kasa ino di tu jebi. Ene se. E wo ma kuma tu omo ye mpa. E bre wo di general secretary. O re se du yin keti ya kwa jina da ke mono. O kase ye. E ma nanon anfom. Nanon antoto. Nanon asim wa kane no su no. Ama wo mu nina abo ato on ye let me start by saying that we are extremely satisfied with the testimony given by our General Secretary today. In fact, nothing that he has said undermines our case. Indeed, everything he said goes to point, points to the fact that we are entitled to the declarations that we are seeking. But several interesting things stood out today. Let me start with the video. The video that they sought to show to try and dent the credibility of the general secretary didn't happen as they thought it would. In the end, his credibility rather soared. If you watch the video, and I'm sure you all watched it, it is clear from the video that he never said at any point in time that the petitioner had won the elections. In fact, what he did were projections, and rightly so. He stated that based on the 141 parliamentary seats that we had won, the projection was that we would win the presidential slot as well. Those were projections he made. And so they were unable to show from the video that the general said what it is they were trying to prove. So of course they flopped in that regard. The other thing that came out clearly was that there were ever-changing figures from the general's testimony. Now, from their own cross-examination, they described these ever-changing figures as manifestly erroneous. We had the 9th December figures of 13,434,574, 10th December, 13,119,460. Then in their paragraph 24 of their answer, that's the first respondent's answer, she talks about 13,121,111. Yet again, today, there were corrections made. And we saw that from the cross-examination on Techiman South. On the face of that, their own exhibit, it showed 97,227. But when they did the tally or the collation, it was 99,436. So when we make the point that based on their own declarations, that's the EC's own declarations, there are errors, we are right. And it has been proven by the cross-examination that they conducted that we do not know what the figures are. Based on her own declaration, nobody got more than 50%. And the declaration I'm talking about is the 9th of December declaration.